from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 10. And tonight here in our news at 10, the Salvation Army is now saying it is way short of its 2018 fundraising goal. The nonprofit currently has half of its $1 million goal raised, but it's still seeking help to fix the budget shortfall. Our Jesse Inman's been following this story for us today, and I mean, we've got five days left in the year. Jesse, what does this mean for the staff with the Salvation Army, but also the people who rely on the services over there at the agency? Well, yeah, David, the Salvation Army, as we know, provides all sorts of services for men, women, and children across the area. Now, it usually gets around a third of its funding right now during the holiday season, and that they're actually down hundreds of thousands of dollars through all of their collection methods. And the executive director told me tonight, Quite frankly, they're nervous. Many people ask me about the slogan, doing the most good. The Salvation Army can only do the most good when we have the community at our side to do it. Now more than ever, the Salvation Army is asking for the community to stand by its side with a donation. Less than halfway to their yearly goal, Executive Director Major Butch Frost says the next few days will have a huge impact on 2019. You know, the one thing I don't want to see happen, and um, God willing won't happen, is we don't want to affect any of our programs, and we don't want to affect any of our staff. We have good people working here, and the impact that they're making makes an impact upon the community, and there's change taking place. That change comes through their numerous programs, and Frost wants donors to know that they are a big part of that change. Their money is being used to make an impact on somebody. That somebody could be their neighbor. That impact is made through after school programs, which become 12 hour daycares when school is out. And it's made through shelters offered for women and children and one for men at the Harbor House. We have uh, 31 men that are sheltered here. The average time is about six months. They stay here. Director Tim Gardner sees the impact every day that donations make on improving lives. Several different things, which includes case management, uh, schooling, um, work uh, experience, anything like that, in order to get themselves into a full-time position somewhere and get back up on their feet, get into some housing and graduate program. It's not just the guy that's coming in that needs shelter. It's a real human being that really needs help. Now, the Harbor House also offers a free hot meal between noon and one every day for anyone who needs it. So just a small glance into what they do to help thousands in need across the area. But there's still a huge need for donations, which you can contribute to at their website, or you can find it in the link to this story at OzarksFirst.com. We'll see how it goes. Jesse Inman tonight. Thanks.